attention! Kids Learning Tube is having a Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. You can get t-shirts. You can get throw blankets and pillowcases. Any video subject you want from the Kids Learning Tube video collection. You can purchase your favorite music. You can get your favorite coloring sheet. Enjoy school even more with your new Kids Learning Tube backpack and tote bag. Hang your favorite Kids Learning Tube poster in your room from Black Friday 1129 at 12 a.m. through Cyber Monday 12 2 at 11:59 p.m. Purchase any items up to $60 or more and save 10% off your entire order. Just go to kidslearningtubeshop.com and save. Happy holidays. Kids Learning Tube. Let's gain a high level of knowledge About the types of clouds that we know of now We'll gain a high level of knowledge There are high, middle, and low clouds in which I'm proud There are three levels of clouds in which we will explore High level, mid level, and low level of course The typical high level clouds they are first There are three we will learn within this song verse Cirrus is a genus of atmospheric cloud Generally characterized by thin wispy strands I teach out loud A cirrus cloud can form at any altitude Between 16,500 and 45,000 feet It's true Cirrocumulus clouds are small rounded puffs That usually appear in long rows High in the sky This much is clear Cirrocumulus usually form between an altitude Of 16,000 and 45,000 feet this is so true. Cirrostratus is a high level, very thin, generally uniform, semi translucent type of cloud in high altitude it'll form. Moving on to mid level clouds, they usually form between 6,500 and 20,000 feet, is the norm. They typically form at temperatures between 0 and negative 40 Celsius. I hope that you know what I mean. Alto cumulus is the first mid level cloud. They appear like globular masses and layers or patches so proud. Alto stratus form between 6,500 and 20,000 feet, generally uniform gray to bluish green layer or sheet. Nimbo stratus is a multi-level, often dark, nearly uniform cloud, producing rain, snow, or sleet with no lightning or thunder pow. On to low-level clouds that usually form below 6,500 feet and there is more you should know. These consist of liquid water or even super cool droplets, except during cold winter storms when ice crystals within the cloud set. Cumulus clouds have flat bases and are often described as puffy, cotton-like, and fluffy in appearance. That's so rad. Cumulonimbus is a dense, towering vertical cloud forming from water vapor carried by powerful upward air currents I'm informing. Stratocumulus forms in large dark rounded masses, usually in groups, lines, or waves in the low level cloud classes. Stratus clouds form with horizontal layering with the uniform base, as opposed to convective clouds that form by rising thermals that race. Here's three levels of clouds with each type in mass. Thank you for joining this kids learning tube class. Let's gain a high level of knowledge about the types of clouds that we know of now. We'll gain a high level of knowledge. There are high, middle, and low clouds in which I'm proud. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the information bell. Kids learn it too.